Hello, and in this demonstration we're going to be showing you the FM Commander program and this particular portion of the video will deal with spacings. And if you do a study in the spacings mode, it's probably going to be a commercial station because the commercial station stations use spacing and not contour to contour. In this particular case we're looking at WSYY FM and we see that uh, that is our reference station so basically we can ignore this first line and that's why the call letters are green. This is us and our reference coordinates are shown here as well as the power and the antenna height above mean sea level, the antenna height above average terrain. We are on channel 235 and if you notice we're a C2 in the US but in our relationship with Canada we are a C1 and this station has a relationship with Canada. It's within the 320 kilometer mile spacing uh, that we or kilometer spacing that we have uh, with Canada. And note that we have a small overlap in spacings here or a small shorty, short space of 2.6 kilometers and we also have 3.8 kilometer overlap uh, in spacings uh, or I should say short spacings with the allocation in Quebec. Now basically this particular figure on the, in the margin is calculated by looking at the FCC tables and it says in those FCC tables that a class A station that is one channel removed on the first adjacent of a C2 station that that station has to be at least 105.5 kilometers. They actually say 106 but they let you round them down so we have the round down feature on so we're showing 105.5 kilometers but our distance is 102.9 kilometers therefore we are short by 2.6 kilometers and of course the azimuth is the azimuth from true north now if we were to look at this particular station we see that it's given an N category and if you read the help files or the manual it'll tell you that this is a 73215 type station which means that it is short spaced and it has reduced its power <clears throat> not by a directional antenna but simply by reducing uh, the power or the antenna height of the station from its full class and we can look at its relationship with uh, WSSY by just sim simply clicking into the station and that's what I did here. And the station will come up and incidentally any of these values can be changed simply by clicking into them and you can change those values uh, just by clicking onto uh, the screen. It's very easy to change any values on this screen or I'm going to lower this on the main screen simply by clicking into the value changing it. In this case we could change the power to 24 kilowatts or something larger if we wanted to. If you go beyond the class po uh, power and antenna height combination the program will warn you. And I'm going to go back to uh, our previous screen and we're going to look at the mapped relationship between the contours, the protected contour of our reference station and the protected contour of the interfering station. Our reference station is WS YY FM. The interfering station is WBCQ FM in this particular case. And then you can reverse that where WSSY becomes the interfering station and WBCQ becomes the protected station. And looking at the map we're seeing both the protected contour going out and that coming in. You can change any of the values on this map by simply uh, the te text on the map, I should say, by right clicking on the left hand side of the value and then moving it. So you can actually adjust your map to make your values, your text stand out. The main screen that we look at for such relationships is the mapped screen showing separations. And here we see that we have 
a separation screen. This is showing the separation distances as circles around the stations. And you can see that in this case, our reference is right here in the middle, that there is an overlap shown in red. And that overlap is one of the overlaps that you're seeing here. The other low overlap is also in red, but you're going to say, well, it's not overlapping. And that's because it's a 73215 station and it's being protected, that's our WBCQ, by a reduction of power of the main station. We can go up to the settings and we can uh, come down to the uh, short spacing and turn off the automatic short spacing. That's up here, sorry. And we'll get the, turn it off and you'll see that contour will expand and now we're not automatically short spacing this uh, service distance and we have two red overlaps. The fact that they're dashed means that these are 73215 stations and we can short space against them protecting just their contour and not necessarily uh, meet the spacings and the rules. All stations that are not 73215, I'll close this now, such as in this particular case, uh, let's look at WHOM. In this particular case, we meet the spacings, and that's what that double caret means. And in that, if we were in the interference mode, we would have to, under the rules of section 73215, maximize this station to its maximum class power and facility. And for class C, it's going to be a big facility, uh, 2,000 uh, feet above ground or 600 meters and 100 kilowatts. So that's basically the spacings uh, format. There's many more things you can do uh, when you look at the spacings tables, uh, but for now, uh, that's our first lesson.